you're on Siesta Key this upcoming season. Oh, yeah. Um, the preview dropped and we see you in it. I know you documented it a little bit on like TikTok and stories, like being on set. Not much, but yeah, because we weren't allowed to. Yeah, you, but you said like yeah. I'm filming for Siesta yeah. Key, which I was surprised you could even say that to be honest. Me too. I think, <laughs> and then they very quickly were like, "Stop posting." I was like yeah, posting like, vlogs like on TikTok. Yes. Like, yeah, I was actually surprised. I was like, "Wow, I'm shocked that she's doing this." And then because I wasn't giving away any story. No, you know what I mean. Yeah. Um. um how do you know the cast? Could you say that? Yeah, no, I I worked at Refinery as a host, basically. And when they were promoting their show, I'd say like three years ago, uh, Juliet and Kelsey came to the studio. I had this like entertainment live show. Um, and, you know, we're really close in age, so we just stayed friends. And it kind of just like, I've always like joked like, haha, like what, what if I came on a season? And um and then it like really they were like no we actually do want to because they basically because of covid it was very difficult to film in florida so they yeah they went to this like private island for a month and i was like wait like yeah i'm private island. down like yeah. what because it was really good timing like my show ended and and i've always wanted to do reality television but in a way that was really respectful to like what i built and what i've done you know mm -hmm. like you're not gonna be seeing me like fucking 50 dudes on that show yeah yeah. maybe one day <laughs> but like you know it was really like important that like and I came in really as like a friend and like even when you see the trailer it's like people are like you look like like the resident therapist and I was like I kind of I kind of was <laughs> yeah, you're, like giving advice I like, kind of was yeah. like and I was friends with everyone and it, it when I say and I, the, I don't know I didn't sign an NDA I don't give a shit when I say like the drama that I witnessed and like I, it's true it's real like that shit like it, it was real and it was a lot and it was very emotionally exhausting to I was be part say of, exhausting which was weird because like again i had my phone i had devices <laughs> you know devices <laughs> i had things to relax and like to also just like escape um i can't even imagine doing a show where you actually have nothing because like whoa but but it was emotionally exhausting and it, it is it's hard it, it's hard because when there's a camera on you you are you're not your you're not your full self you're there's there's a different air to you a little bit I 100% agree yeah and so I think there's a lot of confusion of like you know what's going on honestly but it's gonna be an insane season like I'm not even just hyping it up like I'm like I can't even believe I was a part. when I saw myself in the trailer I was like oh my fucking god what How it's like I imposter syndrome it's like that's me no oh yeah no I mean to be honest I manifested the fuck out of that and I, I was like there's none there's no imposter that's like that is as okay it that was just like me. you know I, I'm not really from their world but I think that yeah. that was actually necessary to have this kind of like I mean, you'll see how the show plays out, but I think it was good for me to be there. Wait, I'm so excited. It's so fire. I like the show. Yeah. I'm, I'm like big fan of MTV shows. Like, I feel like the reality shows are like the most real of any of this. Like, I don't know. I feel like people that are on MTV reality shows are themselves. People yeah. that go on Bravo, like they go on one season and yeah. then they get like a full facelift and they change 100%. completely who they are. People on MTV are just like themselves completely. Yeah. And I love that. Also, you know, like I went, it's funny, I become friends with Lo Bosworth. So that's been become like so, it was, she was on Laguna and the yeah. Hills and like, it's, it's crazy. Like I had dinner with her and she's like, I'm so excited for Siesta Key. And I'm like, I don't think you understand how full circle this is for me. That, that like, is. I grew up watching you being like, I wish I could be on a show like this. And now you're telling me you can't wait to see me on it. It was like too much of a mind fuck. But like, you know, she did it when she was super young, when she started doing it when she was 16. Which is like, the thing about imagine? being 16. It was pre-TikTok. And that's why the Hills... I recommend anyone to watch it. I think The Hills is actually a really interesting look at reality docu-soaps because it's pre-social media. So there is a degree of like what is real, what's not. Yeah. It doesn't really matter because that's all we're getting. Now, it's hard to do a reality show. Like you said, I was posting all the time. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And I was, I'm posting with a lot of the girls on the cast. So like are we friends are we not probably we are friends yeah, right who's feuding who's getting along oh that person's not in a picture they must be fighting like it oh my, is no, different no. I'm also in like a Siesta Key fan club group on Facebook because I just <laughs> love to see what they say and like yeah. I, I did it right before I went on it so yeah, like they yeah. think I'm just some random I don't I don't say anything it's <laughs> like it's insane like it's like it's like FBI investigation of like oh my god look she unfollowed and liked and I'm like okay y'all need like to start like knitting or something like you need a project it's that's insane. actually you know good and creative and beneficial t for society other than like looking at who's following who but yeah there's a barstool like fan group on Facebook that I'm a part of and like today I posted in it because I was like I want them to all listen to my episode so good, uh, and everyone's like you're in here and it's so funny because yeah I'm sure they bug all out. the posts are like 
who's dating who, blah, blah, blah. What's this mean? And it's funny because I know all the info, but it's just to see them like commenting on every little thing about all the employees that work here. I know. It's yeah. so funny. No, I know. It's, 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 a, it's a scary world that we live in. It but. really, it really is. <laughs> 